Hi, everybody. Guess what time it is? It's Diesel Doozy time. It's Diesel Doozy time. It's Diesel Doozy time. It's Diesel Doozy time. Yeah. Yeah, press it. It didn't want to press it harder. There, Diesel Doozy. Here it comes. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Yeah, we down low. What's that? That's a garbage can, Diesel Doocy. Wow, this is cool. Yes, this is an elevator. Well, how do I make it go? Press a button. I want to go to the top floor. Well, then press the 5B. Look through the doors. Yeah, you can see the floors going by. Whoa, where are we? We're at the top floor. All right, there's Diesel Ducey. We're showing Diesel Ducey for a certain reason. That's because we're coming up to the Church Avenue garage. It is July 28th, 2020, and we are going to see something in here for probably the last time in its current condition. That's right, this is the famous Diesel Ducey elevator. But something's happening to it. That's right, this elevator is going to be modernized. Here it is. Now, I think Diesel Ducey wants to go up and get a view. So we'll go to 5B. While we're up here, we'll hear that alarm bell one last time. That may be the last time it ever rings. There's the view. All right, now we're going to go down to, uh, what floor is it? 4A. 4A, where we're going to get a view of something that is going to seal this elevator's fate. Before we go, let's get a good look at these fixtures. These are the old GAL Jet Plus fixtures. And hopefully, this will end up in the Elevators Elevator Museum. If you look out here, that is correct. The elevator is getting modernized and here's some of the new components. As you can see, it's gonna get all new doors. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it.
Now let's look at the new elevator. All right, people, we're back here. Guess where we are? That's right, we are back at the Church Avenue garage. It's March 31st, 2021. Zach is with me today. Hey. And here it is. That's right, this is the new elevator, the new diesel Ducey elevator at the Church Avenue garage. So, I think it's only appropriate if Diesel Ducey pushes the button. Here I go. I like that new indicator. That's right, the interior of this elevator is the same. As we all know, it was recently snap cabbed. But here we go, ride on the new elevator, the diesel DC elevator at the Church Avenue garage. Let's listen to it. We're going to see something up here that hasn't changed. The view. It sure smells good in here. We all know and love this beautiful view of downtown Roanoke. And what's that up there? What is that, Zach, on top of the mountain? It's the star. That's right, that's the Mill Mountain Star. And there's the Federal Building. And there's a Zaki. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go back down. Take one more ride on this. Brand new. Was originally Westinghouse, then a Montgomery, then a ThyssenKrupp elevator. Unfortunately, I never got to see it in this Westinghouse state. So Zach, push the button on this brand new elevator. We'll get one more look at this cab here, and I'm gonna show you something on this elevator. Here's the car panel. That is ThyssenKrupp's last logo. It's now TK Elevator. And they put something really interesting on this elevator that I don't know why they have in a parking garage. A door hold switch. And here's proof that the door close button works. I'll get one more look around this cab. And over here, we're going to see a Zach. And I think Diesel DC should push the button to go to the lobby. Here we go. And that's the timer on the door close. Let's see. It levels really quickly. We'll take one more ride and... All right, now that we wrote this, what do you think about this new mod on this elevator? Well, it's very smooth, that's for sure. It's nice. It levels really quickly. And it has Hollister Whitney equipment up there. These buttons were made by MAD. levels in less than a second. I will have to say this one runs a lot better than the ones on the other side of the building. So, there you have it. This is the current state of the Diesel Ducey elevator. And we will go down to the lobby and end our tour. Very smooth. This is also a really fast elevator too. I believe it goes 350 feet a minute, so it's pretty quick.
You know what, Zach? We parked up on 1A, right? I think so, yes. That's Let's go up to 1A and we'll look at my car. Okay. Zach, you can press the button. 1A. So smooth. ThyssenKrupp did a great job on this one. My buddy Alex did most of this work. Now there's one question. Wonder what happens to the old uh, buttons from this elevator. And there is my awesome Toyota. And there is Zach. Say bye. Bye. Now let's find out what happened to those buttons. A huge thank you to all of my patrons for your support of Elevate Tours. The video's over. But it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more. And you know what to do. Click the buttons. And don't forget to subscribe. And light up that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.